What's going on guys, it's Modern, and today we have another episode of Road to the Top, and today's episode is special because we are finally switching over teams. It's been probably like two months since I've changed teams. Now that's that's mostly because my uh, video schedule hasn't been consistent, uh, or it wasn't consistent earlier in the year just because of school, but... Um, now, obviously, we're finally getting to the point where I told you guys I would go and switch teams. Um, this is actually episode 16, so obviously um, episode 15 was the last episode with my Eveltal and Groudon team. And now we're using a pretty interesting team. This is a Void Cats team. Um, and yeah, this team is special. It revolves almost... Uh, yeah, everything about the team revolves around using Assist Dark Void. And so how it works is all of the Pokemon on the team have moves that cannot be called by the move Assist. So, like, for instance, Lucario has Focus Punch, Faint, Follow Me, and Protect. And Assist from Liopard can't actually pull any of those moves. And so by giving... Uh, every Pokemon on the team moves that can't be pulled by Assist, you can force it so Assist always comes out as Dark Void. And so basically what you end up with is a priority Dark Void with Liopard, and then you can easily go and uh, try to sweep through with moves like Focus Punch, which are super, super, super strong, but require your Pokemon to take no damage before they attack. Um, and then you can also just help increase your odds of getting attacks off, by going for Swagger with Liopard too. So there's a lot of RNG aspects with the team, but um, with a little bit of intuition, it makes it a lot easier to use, or at least um, more consistent to use. So uh, hopefully the goal is that we can either catch people off guard and um, just have some fun with this team. I, I, I really wanted to use something a little bit less serious, uh, but also try my best to make it competitive. So. Yeah, this is this is gonna be my um, this is gonna be me giving my best shot at doing that. And without further ado, let's start queuing up. So we're basically at the 1700s now. Um, hopefully, with this team, like I said, we our goal is to try to keep it consistent. But um, oh, that's weird. Um, oh, there we go. Alright, so what, anyways, what I was saying was, our goal is to try to make this as consistent as possible, but uh, sometimes it's just, it, it can be pretty tough to do. Um, so for this, I'm just going to go for the super standard setup, Liopard Lucario with Smeargle and Ditto in the back. Um, you lead Liopard Lucario because Lucario has Faint, which can actually break through Crafty Shield. And then follow me, just in case if your opponent has any taunt, although... Um, none of the Pokemon on my opponent's team can carry Taunt besides Smeargle, but no one runs that. Um, so yeah, most likely, I assume my opponent's just going to lead Smeargle, Xerneas, or like Smeargle, Groudon, or Groudon, Xerneas. Some combination of those Pokemon. Um, they could also alternatively lead Kangaskhan, which would be fine. Um, there's a lot of quirks with this team that make it interesting to run. Um, instead of running Fake Out on Liopard, you run Protect on this set, and that's mostly just because um, you don't want to have to deal with opposing Fake Outs, and there's also a lot of situations where uh, you want to um, stall someone out of their last turn of sleep or something. So let's say they slept for three turns and you just want to Protect, so um, you can have them wake up and then you can put them to sleep again. So that's usually the general strategy. Um... The only real difficulty I can see right here, besides obviously the RNG aspect of um, Dark Void and Swagger, is that my opponent can have, uh, what is it, Magic Coat Cresselia. So that could definitely prove to be an issue. Um, and they lead Xerneas and Smeargle, so that's pretty good. Um, for this first turn, I'm just going to go for the Double Protect. Uh, there's no reason to risk the... Um, fake out against Smeargle or anything. So yeah, I can just go for the double protect. Uh, I can actually Mega Evolve with Lucario too, since um, my ability on it is Steadfast. It doesn't really do anything. Um, ideally, I would actually want Justified on Lucario, I think, just so if I'm in a really clutch situation where Foul Play is not really doing any damage, um, 
I can actually foul play my Lucario and then increase its attack. But uh, yeah, there's no reason to do that in this situation. Um, and I lose nothing by going for the Mega. So let's see, double protect. Uh, and they actually have Crafty Shield Smeargle. So uh, no fake out coming out. Uh, this means I can easily just go for the Faint this turn. And they actually go for Dazzling Gleam too. So uh, they're fully aware of what this team can do. And uh, ooh, I didn't see what the first boost was. They had the Accuracy drop. I didn't see. I think it was Special Defense or something. But yeah. This is my first time using it in-game, guys. Let's see how this looks. So, assist, and then faint into the Smeargle. Uh, faint will break through the Crafty Shield, which is nice, and then it will also break its Focus Sash. Um, and the hope is that I'm able to connect a Dark Void onto at least the Xerneas right here. Um, so, let's see. Assist is going to come out. Ooh, the pause and the Dark Void. Um... Alright, so the move's going out, so at least we know that it's going... Oh, and the Smeargle avoids. Okay, but it hits the Xerneas, and that's what was more important. Um... Dang, that sucks. That sucks. Let's see, Smeargle boost. Special defense, that's also fine. Defense, that's actually really good. Because um... now I think I can just go for a foul play and a feint and a Smeargle, maybe. Yeah, and the hope that this knocks out the Smeargle. Like, I could go for an assist, but that's sort of risky because if it misses again... Oh my gosh, I forgot they got the defense boost. I thought it was a drop. No, that's really bad. I'm going to get put to sleep here. And they go for Dazzling Gleam. Oh my gosh. Okay, and Lucario is going to get put to sleep here. So, I think I actually just lose this game. Um... Oh, but they missed my... They, they they had the minus accuracy. Plus special defense. Okay. Minus attack. So... Okay, I'm back into a really bad position now. Um, that turn one really, really sucked. The fact that I didn't hit both Dark Voids was really bad. Because... Like, and no, and normally, normally, you want to hit both of the Dark Voids, obviously. But... Um, especially in that situation, like... I, I, the, the fact that I didn't realize they had the defense boost, because I probably should have just gone for an assist and a focus punch, but uh, the fact that they got the one-turn sleep right there was really good for them, too. So, my opponent's getting a little bit of RNG on me, um, but ag again, this team is completely based on RNG, so uh, I'm not going to blame my opponent. Then I can just go for a feint on Xerneas right here. Um, they just go for Crafty Shield, which is fine. Like I said, Faint can actually break through right here. Oh, and another reason, another reason I was going to say, it's really important that, um... Another reason that it's really important for my opponent that they got the Avoid was that Smeargle would have not taken its first turn of sleep yet. Um, just because they went for Crafty Shield and that has a higher priority than, uh, the Assist Dark Void. Um... So now I'm in a really, really tough position because... Ooh, and another defense boost. Yeah, so I think what I have to do right here, I have to go for a Dark Void and then a Focus Punch into... Um... I think I have to start targeting down the Zarin. Let's see, they're both asleep, Smeargle avoids, that's fine, and Xerneas wakes up again. So, that's two first turn wake ups, which really sucks, because um, obviously now we're just going to lose the game. Um, I mean, at least Smeargle's still asleep, but we have no chance to win now. Let's see, defense, and minus special defense, which both of its defenses are super, super high. Um... So yeah, I, there's no way for me to win now. Because Ditto's going to transform into Xerneas, and unless I get like a Geomancy off, then I pretty much have no way to win. 
Like, I think my only way to win right here... I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep going on right here, but... Uh, my only hope to win is that the Smeargle gets a three-turn sleep, and I can get a Geomancy off, I think. Yeah, so like I, like I said, um... It just sort of goes to show that this team's very RNG-reliant. Um... When your opponents get the first turn wake ups, it's really, really, really huge for them because it means that they can disrupt. Um, they can disrupt you heavily. Let's see, Smeargle's still asleep, so if I can actually make it through one more turn, then I'm not in too bad of a position. Uh, their special defense goes up even more now, but um, it doesn't really matter. After the boost, I should be able to KO their Smeargle. I uh, won't be able to KO their Zern, but. Um, yeah, at least I get the Geomancy off here. Because the big thing is that I need Smear... Uh, I need, at the very least, I need my Smeargle to survive right here. Let's see, Zerny is asleep. Come on, stay asleep. No. Miss. I don't know if they had accuracy boosts. Um, if they miss my Zern, I have a good chance right here. Ditto avoid. Okay. Okay, then. This isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. Uh, plus accuracy, that's pretty bad now. Special defense down, that's fine. Um, Alright, obviously, uh, my smear goal is scarfed, so it's locked into Dark Void. Um, do they go for a wide guard with smear goal? I don't think they do. This is only my only real play, though. Okay, Dazzling Gleam does go off. I, this Smeargle might be able to survive. Yeah, it does. So, they're plus accuracy. Um, oh, and they actually get their own Geomancy off, so... Yeah, I, I, I mean, there's nothing I could really do in this situation. Um, the only hope was that they, like, double miss their Dark Void on me, or that their Smeargle got a three-turn sleep. If their Smeargle did sleep for three turns, then I'd be in a really good position because um, I would be able to get the Geomancy off and then uh, be able to just straight up KO their Smeargle without having to worry about their Zern. But um, yeah, they're just going to put me to sleep here and the game is pretty much over. Um, I mean, the only real way I can win at this point is if they like Moonblast my Zern this turn, but they're, they're just going to go for Crafty Shield anyways and a Dazzling Gleam, I think. So yeah, Dark Void, I'll go for my own Dazzling Gleam, but yeah, and they just go for Crafty Shield. So again, it's not completely over, but most likely they have Kangaskhan and Groudon in the back right here. Um, oh, but they go for Moonblast, so this is actually good. Um, Smeargle's still asleep. Okay, so now it's, this is another situation. If I can... Let's see. I'm going to Moonblast Xerneas now. They go for Crafty Shield again. That's fine. Okay, but they just win the speed tie, so... Yeah, that's that was a bit unfortunate of a match. Um, my opponent got a lot of really, really good sleep turns in the beginning of the match with Xerneas. And it meant that I got absolutely no damage off with Lucario. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's the nature of this team. It's if your if your opponent can get the first turn wake ups, then you re like uh, uh, completely honestly you can't win. Um, and then I, I really 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 heavily misplayed by going for the foul play and faint into Smeargle. Uh, I didn't realize that it had a defense boost. Um, it was like I was saying, it was one of the boosts that I missed. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought my opponent had minus defense instead of plus defense. So, yeah, if they had minus defense, then feint and foul play would probably knock out, in my opinion, I think. But, yeah, so we're going to go to game two now. Um, we're going to try our best to win a match without getting hacked out. See, it's, it, it's sort of sucky that I say that, like, 
this team relies so much on RNG. But at the same time, the RNG is so much in your favor. Like, sleep turns for them to wake up on the first turn after wasting their sleep. What is it? After wasting their first sleep turn, they have a 1 in 3 chance to wake up. And um, in most cases, with if you can get a swagger off too, that means they have a 1 in 6 chance to even get an attack off. Um, and so obviously it's heavily in your favor, but it's not like 100% or even 99% or anything. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go for the standard setup again. Um, one of the reasons you go Lucario in the matchup against the Big Six is just because of uh, Quick Guard. Excuse me, Quick Guard on Talonflame, and then uh, Crafty Shield on Smeargle. Um, for most other teams, you can usually just use Mewtwo uh, because you can go for a Snatch. It'll steal their Quick Guard. It'll steal Safeguard. It'll st it'll steal um, Tailwind and etc. All right, and now this is we're back in a pretty difficult situation. Um, this is another time where I'm just gonna go for a double protect. I don't want my opponent to like fake out and then flare blitz or something because I'd be put in a really bad uh, situation. Um, so the hope right here is that for this first turn they just fake out and then flare blitz. Um, if they go for a tailwind, that's not too bad. But the issue becomes um, the issue becomes that if they can get a good roll on my Liopard, they can pick up a knockout before I get an assist off. Um, so let's see. Double Protect comes out. They just go for Tailwind and an attack, actually. So pretty interesting. If they go for a Power Up Punch, that's actually good for me, believe it or not. But they just Power Up Punch into Lucario. So maybe they expected me to go for a Protect right here. Um... Like I said, though, I can just go for the assist, and I'm actually going to go for a feint onto the Talonflame. Um, and they do go for Quick Guard, so this is really great for me here. Um, the Talonflame is going to take, or sorry, they won't waste their uh, first turn of Mandatory Sleep. And then, as long as this connects with Kangaskhan, then I should be in a really good position. Um, if they go for Power Up Punch, it won't knock out either of my Pokemon either. And it actually connects with... I think it connected with both? Yeah, it did. Okay. Let's see. Kangaskhan burns that first turn. Um, and I think what I'm going to do here is just go for a swagger onto the Talonflame. And then a focus... Actually, yeah, no. A focus punch into Kang makes the most sense here. I was going to say that um, I can KO the Talonflame with the Focus Punch, but uh, Kangaskhan's more of a threat here. And then, obviously, getting the Swagger off against the Talonflame, like I was saying, uh, for this next turn, they will have a 1 in 6 chance to actually get an attack off. Uh, for the Kangaskhan here, it's a 1 in 3, but I get the Sleep turn, so that's good. Um, good RNG, got the 66% on my side. And the hot Focus Punch, 1 hit knockout. It's really, really nice. Um, okay, so they're going to bring in Groudon, I think. If they bring in Xerneas, that's actually a bad play, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, they just bring in Groudon. What I'm going to go for right here is a feint into Groudon and then a assist. Um, alternatively, I could potentially go for a foul play. Now that I think about it, a foul play into the... Yeah, a foul play into Talonflame actually makes the most sense here, I think. Um, yeah, because most likely what's going to happen right here is if they stay asleep with Talonflame, then foul play will knock out... Yeah, foul play will knock out Talonflame, and then they'll knock out my Liopard, and then I can just bring in Scarf Smeargle. Oh, and they actually go for Precipice Blade, so this won't even knock out my Liopard. Okay, yeah, and the foul play, uh, the Talonflame's plus two because of Swagger, so obviously that's going to pick up the knockout. Um, now they're going to bring out Xerneas, and 
I'm again back in a really really great position, uh, and this is where this is where um, Smeargle strats come in because uh, now if they boost with Xerneas, then I can just steal its boosts by uh, transforming into it with Ditto or Smeargle, and then. And then, like, if I really need to, I can swagger their Groudon, and then I can steal their boosts uh, from doing that. But yeah, I'm going to go for a Focus Punch on a Groudon. I think they'll just attack with both Pokemon here. There's really no reason to protect. Um, because if they get an, an attack off with either Pokemon, they get put in a really good position. But if I double connect here, then this match is pretty much over. Okay, the Xerneas avoids. That's fine. So let's see if they go for Geomancy. And they just go for Dazzling Gleam, so that's fine. Um, I'm still not in the worst of positions, though, because now I can bring out my Ditto. Alright, and I can just go for a Prespice Blades and a uh, Faint onto their Groudon, I think. Okay, and they were going for the Protect right there, because they did outspeed. Um, so if they did wake up right there and they got the Protect off, obviously that would have protected them from Faint. Uh, I do get a critical hit, and they actually go for Geomancy, so uh, in my opinion, not the best of plays, because... Um, if Precipice Blades on my side can connect, then I should be able to knock out their Groudon with a Faint next turn. Um, it will be a little bit difficult to win from here, though, because... If, if Precipice Blades double connects right here, I think I win. Yeah. Because he should be in Faint range now, I think. And I'm actually going to go for a pretty interesting play now. I'm going to switch out into Smeargle. And go for a feint onto Xerneas. Because from the looks of it, um, just because I got a critical hit the last turn, I would probably need another critical hit to knock out their Groudon. Uh, but by switching out Ditto, if they go for the KO onto uh, Lucario um, with maybe Dazzling Gleam, then I can just steal their boosts. And they do go for Dazzling Gleam, so um, now I'm in a winning position because I can just knock out both of their Pokemon with Dazzling Gleam, and um, even if they manage to get a critical hit with Moonblast, my uh, Ditto actually carries Focus Sash, so um, yeah, just one of the techs I really like with Ditto is um, ooh, please let me choose what spot it goes into. Okay. I was going to say, one of the interesting texts with Ditto is uh, there's a lot of situations where you bring in Ditto and it's a 1v1. Um, and especially against uh, Boosted Xerneas as well as Groudon. Um, if either Boosted Xerneas can get a critical hit on you, or if uh, maybe like you lose a speed tie with Precipice Blades or something, then there's a lot of matches where you normally lose because of the 1v1, but... Um, with Focus Sash, it means that you'll survive an attack, so even if you lose a speed tie, you still have a decent chance to win. Uh, just because it gives you another chance at the 50-50 for the speed tie. And obviously in this situation, we did win the speed tie against their Zern, but... Um, like I said, we do have Focus Sash, so even if they went for Moonblast, even if they got a critical hit, um, I was pretty much guaranteed to win right there, because... Um, Dazzling Gleam, both of their Pokemon were in range... And they just gave me the free boost. I was honestly surprised they went for Geomancy. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, I really hope you guys liked the new team or are liking the new team because I'm going to be using it for probably the next five or ten episodes. Um, it's a team that I personally have a lot of fun playing with. Um, obviously, there's a lot of RNG aspects that can make it uh, irritating to use sometimes. But when it works out, when... RNG is not just completely out of your favor. Um, matches can actually get pretty fun and pretty interesting. So yeah, like I said guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, 
please go leave a like. Helps me out a lot. And if you want to go and keep up with all of my content, uh, go and check out my social media and hit subscribe. Thanks, guys.